today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do RNA extraction. I'm gonna extract my knowledge of RNA and give it to you. Was that pun cringy enough? I don't I don't think it was cringy enough. It's gotta be cringy. Joke's for me, it's not it's not for you. Oh, how about this? I'm gonna purify this solution for you. That was, is, that, is that good? Uh, anyway, all right, we're gonna talk about RNA extraction. We have different buffers here, we got the plates. So there's essentially two ways to do RNA extraction. There is the automated way, and then there's the, gonna be the manual way with the mag plate. We're gonna go over both. So the first step is to prep the plates for RNA extraction. So you gotta load all of these solvents into these well plates. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the materials that we're gonna need for this analysis. We're gonna have your sample tubes containing your samples. We have, um, these are your tip combs. We have all the different 96 well plates that we're gonna use. We have proteinase K. We have magnetic beads. We have a reagent reservoir. Um, and then you have your lysis buffer. Um, wash one, which is an isopropanol based wash. Wash two, which is an ethanol based wash and then elution buffer, which is water. And definitely, of course, you're gonna need some pipettes and pipette tips. And if you're doing things manually, you're gonna also need a mag plate. All right, so let's talk about the plates. Over here in the first plate, you're gonna have your tip combs. This is gonna protect your magnetic rods from contamination. So if you wanna think about it, it's like contraceptive for your magnetic rods. This second plate is gonna be your lysis buffer. Uh, this is going to help bust up those viral cells and cause them to release the RNA. Um, this is going to have kind of a guanidine-based salt. Um, might have phenol, chloroform, other things. You have your proteinase K, which denatures protein. And, of course, your magnetic beads. This is going to help bind the, uh, the loose RNA. The third plate is going to have an isopropanol-based wash. This is going to get rid of uh, small debris, and this is going to kind of be a first step in cleaning up the beads. And then secondly, we have a second wash, which is an ethanol-based wash. It's gonna further clean up the sample, get it nice and clean. And then the final step is your elution buffer, which is essentially just water. It's gonna cause those beads to cough up that RNA. So in the solution, you have lysis buffer, you have your proteinase K, and then you have your magnetic beads. You're gonna pipette the lysis buffer in with these components, and then you're gonna add your sample. And that's gonna sit for a while to let the lysis buffer kind of do its job. After it does its job, you wanna kind of pick up the magnetic beads with this tip comb. So the tip comb's gonna come over, the machine's gonna grab it, and it's gonna come over, and then it's just gonna like mix it. And then the, the beads are gonna stick there. So now that everything is lysed and the magnetic beads with the RNA is on the tip combs, now the tip combs is gonna go over to the first wash. So again, it's gonna pick it up. And this is a isopropanol based wash. It's gonna pretty much wash everything into solution that's not beads and RNA. So it's gonna pick it up again, and it's gonna go over, and then it's gonna it's gonna agitate it again and it's gonna give it a good wash, okay? Finally, for good measure, we're gonna do one more wash with ethanol. So again, the magnetic rods are gonna be on, the magnetic beads with the RNA is gonna be over, and it's gonna go over to the ethanol, and then, like it's like it's just like for minutes, right? And then it's just like, it's just like it's gonna do this for a while. And lastly, you know, you have your magnetic uh, beads again on the rods, and it's elution time, right? So, you know, we're gonna be like, give me that RNA, baby, you know, give it back, you know, get them, get them off the, get them off the beads, and then, just, but then this time, the magnetic beads stay here, but the water that has the, the uh, RNA is here. So this is like trash now, and this is the gold, and you know, this goes you know, PCR time. So if you're gonna do this manually, you, know, you got no machine, that, you know, it's all good. You can have a magnetic plate here, then you're gonna be able to put your plates there. Um, so instead of the magnetic beads moving from station to station, the magnetic beads either go, um, if they're off the magnetic, they're in solution, and when they're on the mag plate, they're pelleted at the bottom. So off, in solution, on, 
pellet it at the bottom. So essentially, all the steps are the same, but when it's time to move the magnetic beads, you're not moving them. You just have one plate, but for everything. And what you're doing is you're pipetting out the liquid and putting in new liquid. So for example, if we're gonna go from the lysis buffer to the wash step, everything's washing here, nice and mixed. You pellet it here. Now that things are pelleted, you're gonna pipette out the lysis buffer and then you're gonna pipette in the wash and then you're gonna take it off for mixing. So it's the same concept, but one plate and you're just going back and forth. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you found the video to be helpful, please like and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell. We have similar videos here. Um, feel free to check them out. Lastly, if you have ideas for videos, please put them in the comments section below. Thanks.